Hello YouTube, this is Learn Tutorials, and welcome to your 11th GIMP tutorial. Now today, I'm going to be talking about what filters are. Now, a filter is an effect that is applied to um, the selected layer. Um, so I only have one layer right here, so if I go to the filters tab, as you can see, there are a lot of uh, categories of filters, let alone actual filters to choose from. So. As you can see, there are a lot of uh, filters, like right here and uh, right here, and all that stuff. So, um, anyway, let's say I want to blur this image. So I would go to blur, and I'm just gonna do Gaussian blur. Now, what happens when I click on a filter like that? Usually, a dialog is gonna pop up. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't, depending on the filter. But um, usually, I think it's going to have a preview window and settings to edit so uh, let me just bump up these settings to like 100 or something I don't know so as you can see the preview window changed when I did that and um, as you can see you can drag uh, where you want to be looking at the image and if you have this checked it's going to show you a preview of after the filter takes effect but if you uncheck it it's just going to have the image so um, you can so if I just do this just to show you, I can um, scroll using these things, I can use the mouse wheel, and I can drag, and if I click on this weird arrow thingy here, what it's going to do, a thumbnail of the picture is going to pop up, and uh, I can drag to where I want to be looking on the picture, so that's really um, nice. Also, if you expand the window, you can expand uh, the preview window so that's nice and also I'm just gonna do that have uh, a preview of it so uh, once you're done editing the settings for whichever filter you're using press OK and what it's going to do it's going to have a, uh, a loading bar right here and it's gonna be loading so anyway while it's loading I'm just gonna say that that process for using filters is probably the um, same process for almost every other filter here. Um, blur, I used Gaussian Blur, but if I use Blur, a dialog won't pop up, and um, I can uh, use a lot of other filters, and the process is probably going to be the same. So anyway, um, as you can see, it really blurred out this image. Now if I go back to Gaussian Blur, as you can see, it's going to be at 100, even though it was at 5.0 by default. Now, if I want to reset all of the filters that I've used back to their default settings, all I have to do is click on Reset All Filters, and click Reset, and what it's going to do, if I go back to Gaussian Blur, it's going to be 5.0. So, um, that's nice. So, And also, there's just one more thing I want to show you. Um, Oh, whoops. If you click the red X, what it's going to do is it's going to cancel that filter. I think I clicked on the wrong one. So if I go back to Gaussian Blur and, um, oh, whoops. I actually was going to say something else. So anyway, um, I clicked on the wrong thing again. So if I click on Reshow Gaussian Blur, what this is going to do is it's going to reshow, um, the last, uh, filter that I used. So if I click it, it's going to have the dialog pop up again. So then I can uh, reset it to whatever I want, and then I can click OK, and it'll do the exact same thing. So I'm just going to uh, click the red X. And uh, if you go to Recently Used, what it's going to do is it's going to have a list of all of the filters you've used in this um, session of using GIMP. So anyway, if I do Control Z, so it's back to normal. Uh, if I click on Repeat Gaussian Blur, or uh, repeat and then it'll have the name of the filter it'll repeat the last one I did with the um, settings uh, so I don't need to have it load it'll just do it so um there I think I did that and that and I think that is it for this um this thing and also um yeah there's a couple more things I wanted to say though so if I uh, add an alpha channel and if I delete the upper left corner of this image, and if I reshow the dialog, 
and I go up here, what you're going to see is the checkerboard that represents transparency. But I can right click this and I can have the checkerboard style and the checkerboard size. Now if I um, set the checkerboard size, it's going to make it small or big or medium. And, um, and by the way, these settings only apply to the checkerboard in the preview window, not in uh, not over here. So if I go to checkerboard style, I can have light ones, dark checkerboards, and I can have uh, like just blank colors only. So that's really nice. So if I just reset this back to normal, okay. Um. Also, speaking of transparency, if I just undo everything. And if I add an alpha channel, uh, so if I um, I just want to show you one more thing, really quick. Okay, so now if I go to filters, all of these filters from blur to animation, I think are basically like regular filters. Um, but there's this other set of filters called alpha to logo. Now what this means is that it requires part of the image to be transparent in order for it to be able to use the filter. So if I click on uh, like 3D outline, a dialog will uh, pop up right here. So as you can see, I can click OK. And then it's going to be doing a whole lot of stuff and it's going to take a while. But in the meantime, um, yeah, so alpha to logo is kind of like a special set of filters and also these two at the bottom python foo and script foo these are like really um it's like you have consoles and you type in code i guess and uh you do stuff i'll be showing you these maybe in like 50 tutorials or something um but because i have no idea how to use them but anyway um recently okay so i think um there's only a couple more things I want to show you about filters. So, um, is it possible to stop this? I don't know. How do I stop it? But anyway, I guess I can't or something. But, um, so as you can see, when I used the, um, blur and the Gaussian blur, what it did is it edited that layer and it didn't make a new one. Well, sometimes, um, like certain ones if I go to decor and coffee stain what it's going to do is it's going to um, make coffee stains and then it's going to um, make separate layers so that the original image um, or the layer is intact while it just made layers now some um, filters will make layers some will just use the layer that's selected I just wanted to say that there is um, a difference between the two so I think that is it for this tutorial, um, except there's one more thing, I just want to say that instead of having to click on these um, tools in the toolbox, you can go to tools, and then you can go to the selection tools, and you'll have the same ones, and you can go to the paint ones, and the um, transform ones, and then the color tools I didn't show you about yet, so I'm going to... Um, uh, show you about those in the next couple of tutorials, but anyway um, As you can see this is doing a bunch of weird stuff I have no idea what this is and as you can see it destructively edited the um, image So now I don't even have the original image back. So I just have to go to undo And now I'm back where I started so anyway uh, that is it for the filters um I guess have a nice day. I'll see you in the next one.